is truly nothing. <laughs> 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 this is what happens when you create absolute nightmare fuel. And I'm sadistic, so I wanted to do exactly that. But being creative and original is hard. So let's spend the next eight months blatantly stealing Lysian's idea and creating a significantly more complicated version of his game. If you don't know, Lixian is Markiplier's editor. Lixian, uh, cut around that, make me look really good. No! But he also makes video games. And in 2022, he made a game about cleaning a house. Hmm. Oh, hey, hey! Oh, did I mention it's a horror game? Now, this was Lixian's first Unreal Engine game, which meant it was bound to be fairly simple. But I'm not new to Unreal, having made such masterpieces as a game about a small dog, a game about a small bean, and a game about a small chef. Wow, I really have a theme here. Either way, if there's anyone qualified to remake Lixian's game, it's, it's definitely me. not Wait, me, what? but I'm a YouTuber, so stealing ideas is just part of my DNA. Now, smart people would start by setting up the basics of the game, but I've never claimed to be smart, so I started things out with a live stream. It's not working at all. What? It's literally working. That's not changing though. And of course, Lixian, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> that is the face of a terrified man. Lixian was on to me. He knew I was trying to steal his idea and to throw him off guard, I was gonna have to get creative. So I started with hands. You can't see them, but they're definitely there. You see, in Lixian's game, you can only carry one piece of trash at a time, which gets tedious pretty quickly. So I gave you the ability to carry two pieces of trash at once, but this still wasn't enough. You see, now I was thinking big, maybe even too big. What if instead of cleaning cleaning a house, you worked the night shift at a hotel. See, if I did this, I'd be able to give you one of these things. I know, game design genius. So I dropped in a cleaning cart, slapped some physics on it, and let you grab it and move it around. But this is a remake of Late Night Mop, so we need to be able to grab this mop and clean some stains. Oh, what's that? Sorry, I must have spilled some dubby. Whoa. Oh, you don't know what dubby is? It's just this great energy drink powder that turns water into delicious caffeine juice for all those late nights you spend adding fake stains to a video game about cleaning a haunted hotel. It's actually really good, you should try it. Maybe just don't spill it like me. Now, I don't know about where you live, but over here in the good old US of A, public places are extremely messy. So let's add some trash to throw away. This cart model has a trash can and a yellow bag, which are used for two different things, I guess. So let's add a new type of interaction for throwing away waste. More on that later. And for now, every interactable is an apple? Because we hate apples or something. I actually really like apples. I just needed a placeholder. Now that everything was working exactly as intended, I had to animate the mob. So it's time to learn how to animate in 3D. To do this, we'll study state machines, blend trees, and oh, Never mind. Turns out you just have to turn on physics and move them up between two points. Now this is looking pretty good, but I'm bored of just cleaning up apples on this weird checkered island. And I don't know how to make 3D models. So instead of learning something complicated like Blender, I'm just gonna hand over my life savings for this really cool motel asset pack from the marketplace. It's not a hotel like I initially planned for, but it'll work just fine. Now I could do the responsible thing and build a level with all these cool shiny new assets, but that takes skill. And oh, hey, this demo level looks really nice. It wouldn't be a problem if I just... But I think the designers of the motel were onto me because instead of modeling the entire motel, they filled the whole place with lies. Only the lobby, the parking lot, the pool area, and two of the like 30 rooms were actually modeled. Now I'm lazy and I don't want to do any level design, but I do like physics. Okay, I may have gone a little overboard with the interaction in this game, but I'd put off the level design as long as I could. And now I had to fill in all the empty space whether I liked it or not. I didn't add every room. That's way too much work. I only added nine guest rooms and a break room, which gave you a lot to explore, but also meant the motel could still be occupied. Oh, I also replaced the sign with a model of Lixian's face. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, now that I haven't slept in weeks, we can finally add gameplay. I started with a small tutorial where you grab your work badge and clock in behind the counter, which let me teach you how to move around, interact with objects, and use your clipboard. Oh, by the way, I added a clipboard. That didn't take an extra two days to set up or anything. That would be crazy. Now that you know how to play, let's bump up the spook factor. Remember, this is supposed to be a horror game, and right now it's just janitorial 101. I won't bother explaining what I did here. I'll just let it speak for itself. I eventually got rid of the background buildings. They didn't fit. Now that the game no longer felt like it was stuck in 2012, it was time to add all the tasks you'd complete in the game. Sprinkle some trash over here, plop a few stains over here, and bada bing, bada boom, this motel is officially disgusting. But something was missing. You know how before I said the yellow bag would be used for waste? Well, if it wasn't obvious, waste is just a fancy word for body parts. I mean, come on, it's a sketchy motel in a horror game. There's no way I don't hide a dead body in at least one bathtub. But some body parts and creepy ambiance make the game so 
spooky, but not necessarily scary. Lixian's game was all about scripted jump scares, and I could just do the same thing. But if I wanted to solidify myself as the greatest game developer of all time, I was gonna have to do a bit more than that. So I found this creepy looking dude on the marketplace and threw him in the game. Now let's think of this dude like a monkey. He's stupid, but he can learn. So it's time to do some really cool hacker magic to teach this small brain creature how to walk around, chase the player, and attack. Which is actually pretty easy. You just write this code and... Yeah, turns out making an AI that's not a complete idiot is really hard. So I gave my best attempt at some Frankenstein magic to give this guy a brain and called over some friends to do some playtesting. What the f What the f Is that Lixian? Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah, I'll be cleaning. What's up? Hey, man. What's up? Oh, whoa! Whoa, dude! Where are you going? Hey. Hey, I never said the magic worked. Aside from all the small issues and this dude not understanding how doors work, there still just wasn't enough to make the game scary. So I took some inspiration from one of my favorite horror games, Resident Evil 7. While you're walking around the house in that game, you'll hear random creaks, knocks, and various creepy sounds around you. None of it's a threat in any way, but it makes rounding every corner a lot more unsettling. But this still wasn't enough. I had this overwhelming urge to bring back a familiar face. See, there's this handy little software called FModel that allows you to access the source files of Unreal Engine games. So if I shove Late Night Mop through it, I can steal, I mean borrow, the monster model from Lixian's game. Hey, whoa, 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 I asked for permission first, he said I could, so it's perfectly fine. Probably. Tell me if this is okay while you're here. Can I legally obtain the monster from your game? I'll just extract it. Now that I completely legally had this little demon dude, I can insert a few creepy moments that were reminiscent of moments from Late Night Mob. But it still didn't feel right to add jump scares. At least not here. But I did have a good idea in mind. We'll come back to that later. Yeah, in the back? Question? That's cool and all, but there's still a lot of cleaning. It took both my friends an hour and a half to get through all the tasks in the game, and that is way too much cleaning for what's supposed to be a spooky game. So I cut out two full rooms and a bunch of various other objectives. It was obnoxious how much trash there was before. Seriously, this place needs to hire a janitor or something. Oh, wait. To crank up the spook levels even higher, I made the lights flicker randomly. And when this dude's searching for you, all the lights around him will flicker non-stop. It's both creepier and more helpful, because now it's much easier to know when he's close by. Now remember how I said I had a good idea for the jump scares? Well, just because I didn't want to add jump scares to the motel level doesn't mean I can't add them somewhere else. Lixian games always have multiple endings, so I knew I had to do the same, especially now that I was basically just making a sequel. So with the help of you guys, I decided on four endings. We came up with five, but one of them just didn't fit, so so, yeet! But usually endings in these types of games are animations, and as we established earlier, I'm not good at that kind of thing. That's when I remembered a moment from a different Lixian game. In 2019, Lixian made a game for Markiplier's birthday called Damien. In this game, there's a level that's just a dark hallway with some spotlights. And hey, that actually sounds like something I can do! So without any hesitation, I yet again yoinked that idea, and BOOM! Four easy endings. Okay, well not exactly. See, I only wanted three of the four endings to use this void level. The fourth ending was supposed to be unique in that you had to complete a ritual to get it. I had this idea that you would collect five body parts and place them on this strange crack in the parking lot. If you were successful, the monster from Lixian's game would pop out of the ground and pull you in, which was also kind of inspired by the Damien game. It was a great idea, but it also meant that I wasn't going to get out of this without doing at least a little bit of animation. And after spending way more time than I'd like to admit, the animation was complete. But it felt weird for that ending to just cut off there. So I decided to make another void level that you would go to after that animation. This was perfect. What, are you, are you expecting something? You already got your jump scare. What, was that not enough? Fine. If you get a bad ending, you also get jump scared. Hey, wait, do you see that over there in the dark? Is that dubby energy? What's that doing there? <laughs> oh, you don't know what dubby is? It's just this little energy drink powder that tastes amazing. <laughs> Apparently, if my code gets used more than 30 times this year, I can collaborate with them on a custom flavor. My favorite energy drink flavor is cotton candy, and they don't have one of those right now. So let's make that happen, gamers. <laughs> With everything else done, I set up the main menu, settings, how to play, extras, and the credits, where I added Lixian, of course, Fabio, who made the model for the monster in Lixian's game, and all the members. Thank you guys, seriously, this game probably wouldn't exist without your support. And all that was left was to give this thing a name. But first I wanted to do a little more playtesting to make sure everything worked the way I thought it did. The f No, I don't like this. Turn on the light, please. What the? Is that? Oh sh Oh f Oh, oh, please leave me alone. I don't want to play anymore. What the f 
I'm not going in there. Well, check the shower. I am not checking that damn oh, shower. No. Oh my god! No! No! Is it you? Oh! Hey man, what what is what's the matter? I didn't even do anything! I'm just cleaning! I'm just cleaning! Please! Oh sh ah! No. Hey, I don't I don't I don't I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! Okay, bye. Okay. No! Please! Oh no, I gotta crouch. Who? Oh. There's so much garbage in- Oh, f okay, I'm- alright. Does he know? <gasps> oh! And yeah, everything seemed great. Until it didn't. Whoa, whoa, you can go through this?! What the hell?! Huh? Huh? What are you doing? He's confused. Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. <laughs> no! I'm alive! Long story short, I wasn't as close to being done as I thought I was. Of course, the AI was still a complete moron. He was a little smarter than before, but he probably still wouldn't graduate fifth grade. The good news was, that was really the only big issue. Pretty much everything else worked. And we all know the saying, As long as it works, that's what matters. I did the best I could to fix the AI, but I don't think I ever got him past middle school level, and that's being generous. But there was one more thing I knew I had to do. You see, when I was making a game for Jacksepticeye, one of my favorite parts of the process was adding secrets and references to make it more tailored to him and his community. And I knew I had to do the same for this game. So I went live, and for eight straight hours, we replaced a bunch of textures in the game with custom textures referencing all of Lixian's games, some jokes he's made, and even a couple Markiplier references as well. I then came back and added achievements, which I completely forgot to do on stream, and all that was left was a title. I'd been using the working title, Later Night Mop, since the beginning of the project, but that just wasn't doing it for me. Eventually, I started throwing out the idea of using a subtitle. For example, Late Night Night Mop Blacklight, but since you don't use a blacklight in the game, that didn't really make a whole lot of sense. But I still really like the subtitle idea, so after a ton of terrible names, the unofficial sequel to Lixian's Haunted House Cleaning Simulator would be called Late Night Mop Minimum Wage. The game is available for Windows on GameJolt and Itch.io for the low, low price of absolutely free. You can leave a donation if you want, otherwise just click no thanks, just take me to the downloads. It may have taken eight months, but I'm very happy with the result. And I hope I did all you Late Night Mop fans proud. And who knows? Maybe someday Lixian and I can work together on a game. I think you know exactly what to do.